Hi guys! Today I am here for another makeup tutorial, uh, get ready with me kind of thing. I want to apologize for having two in a row, but you guys know that my last one that was up on Tuesday was originally supposed to be up like a last week. Since that got pushed back, it's going to be two in a row. I don't usually like to do two in a row, but I knew that I wanted to do a Thanksgiving makeup tutorial, get ready with me type thing. So here is a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right now. I mostly just wanted to use my new Lorac. Pro Mega 2 palette. This was a gift for my birthday from my best friend Mackenzie, so I wanted to use it. And yes, I'll be w using Alexa's eyeshadows that she got me in a future video. But I just wanted to use this because I haven't used it yet, so this is kind of like a first impressions, but like it's a voiceover, so you're not going to get much of a first impression, but you know. Overall, I really, really like it, so there's that. I'm just going to go ahead and jump on in and start getting ready, so here we go. We're starting off by doing our face how I normally do it, so I'm going to kind of speed through this, but I'm using none other than the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, and then I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I'm not doing like super heavy foundation, I'm mostly just evening out my skin, so it's just a thin little layer, and I just wanted to make it look a little bit healthier than it was because it was looking really dull, so nothing too crazy, just a small thin little layer. And then of course, doing my concealer, which is using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. Using that to highlight as well as conceal my under eyes, like usual. And this is all being blended in with my beauty blender, like usual, of course, always. Then I'm setting my under eyes using my Revlon Colorstay translucent powder like usual and also taking a fluffier brush for the rest of my face using the same exact pressed powder. The blush I'm using is from my most recent BoxyCharm. It is Studio Makeup's blush in Wildflower and I love this. It took a little bit of blending out because it was really pigmented but it is gorgeous. Then I'm using my Physicians Formula Highlighting Brick the first two colors for my highlight today. Cheekbones, bridge of my nose, high points of my face, you know, the usual. And then I did my brows off camera. For every single look, I always prime my eyes using my MAC Tainerly Paint Pot, you know, the usual. And then I'm setting that using porcelain from the palette. It's a matte white shade like I usually set my Tainerly Paint Pot with. First color I'm taking is Melon. It's a melon color. And uh, that's the nice thing about this palette is like most of the colors, like the names for the colors are very uh, true to what they look like. So I'm just taking the melon shade and then I'm taking Tawny. It's a kind of a rosier brown, but it goes really nice with melon as a transition shade. I really like this. It was very warm in the crease and made for a great transition shade with my skin tone. Now for the lid color, I'm taking Goji, and you can just see in my face just how I feel about it. So pigmented. It was really easy for me to work with because I work with a lot of pigmented colors, but if you're not very skilled with eyeshadows, you need to be careful. I'm blending it out using no extra, extra product because it was looking a little messy. Blending really helps. It blends out beautifully, so don't worry about that. Next color I'm taking is Burlap, and it's so cool because it's like literally just the color of Burlap. And I'm taking that and putting it in the crease. It'll really warm up the eye look and give it a different look. And then I'm updating the lid color like I usually do after my crease color with Goji. And then I'm taking the color Cabernet for the outer corner of my eye and bringing it into the crease just to deepen things up a little bit. I'm really making sure I blend things out so it's not looking too muddy since these are such pigmented eyeshadows and I really was being very tedious with this. For the under eyes I took Goji and this was a little worrisome because it was so pigmented I thought I was going to look like I had a black eye but I took my finger and blended it out and it all worked out just fine. So just be careful. For the outer corner, I took the color Cabernet just really, really lightly and then blended it out using a brush with no excess product on it at all. And then for my brow bone, I'm highlighting with porcelain, just the matte white shade that I used to set my paint lean with. And then I'm taking my L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Brown Eyeliner. 
tight lining, lining my upper lash line, my waterline. And then to blend it out, I took the color Penny to give it a different look. Penny's a gorgeous copper color, as you can guess, and it's also very metallic, so it gave it a different look. I wanted something a little bit different, so I highlighted the inner corners with a gold color called Gold Leaf, and it just gave it a nice pop for the inner corner, something a little different. For my mascara, I tried out one that I got in my BoxyCharm a few months ago. I think it's called MDM Greater Than mascara. It was terrible, super clumpy. I couldn't get it to look good on my eyelashes at all. You can see the frustration in my face. Do not recommend. Uh, just first impression wise, it, it's not good. <laughs> and then for lips, I'm using my Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in the color Nude Nuance just because that's my go-to lip color recently and I love it. So yeah. Okay guys, that was my get ready with me Thanksgiving look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is up on Thanksgiving Day. Um, it's just kind of how things worked because Tuesday, Thursday is my uploading schedule. So if nobody watches this, I understand. Wanted to do a little Thanksgiving video on the day of Thanksgiving. So yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing Thanksgiving for those who are in the U.S. who celebrate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!